welcome to my channel. Welcome to tuning into love with me. I've got a little fire here, a little candle. I just went to light my candle and um, I like to have one while I'm doing this. Have a little candle. <laughs> so, um, but it was perfect because I'm feeling extra fiery today. Welcome, you guys. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining today. I know this message is meant to be shared with many of people out there. If you're watching this, it could be you. So if you resonate, definitely um, would love to hear and hope it does. Hope it inspires you to tune into your spirit and gives you the guidance to, you know, put the pieces together. So let's get into it, you guys. I am really excited to share the message today. I'm actually am very much feeling the energy of this um, reading, which I'm going to show you here, the card we pulled for the overall energy, which I, you know, when I tune in, I ask unconditional love, what is the message? What is the offering, the message, the wisdom, advice? What is it that unconditional love wants the people to know? You know, whatever it is they're going through, what is it? What does it want to share? And so today we pulled the Queen of Wands. And I love this because after the last several days, after everyone, everyone we're standing our ground, you guys. We're like, you know, we're tired, we're ex mentally exhausted, we're physically exhausted, we're spiritually exhausted, we're emotionally exhausted. We've been standing our ground, we've had to speak our truth, we've had to face our fears, we've had to like, I mean, we're like, I don't even know how we're even still going, right? It's like all that strength, we've really had to be strong and we are becoming aware of how strong we truly are. And we are seeing that we are on the path. It's just like, you know, we're at the final battle. And I feel like I'm right here with you guys. Like, I thought that maybe I was like, you know, but no, like, I'm right here with you guys. Like, this is still, you know, something I just today am facing. Like, I feel like this fiery energy is emerging out of me. And it's because I've had to stand in my truth. I have been tested repeatedly over the last several weeks and it's like every time I have to rise to the occasion and every time I do learn to master more of myself, I, I learn to master my emotions, my reactions my own logic you know what I what I know to be true authentic I am I am becoming myself and today okay so let me enough about me I, I'm sorry you guys but that may resonate with how you're feeling you know and so I just I'm intuitively sharing things these days and I you know I'm going with it I'm going with it more often than not when I feel like it just needs to come out because I'm recognizing that somebody needs to hear it so it's just kind of how it works so let's get into the queen of wands i apologize let me see if i can fix the lighting here it's horrible you guys i am like i really need to do something about this okay i'm sorry let's bring it back here shoot it's the glare from the window i've got the window open so the queen of wands she is she is the dominant feminine energy of the fire element. So she is like the queen of fire. Um, she is very warm, very charismatic. She's, she's very generous. She's very independent. She's got, you know, she's sitting on this throne. She's got the sunflower here. She's all about abundance and, you know, like the substance of life, the, the like, that creative life force energy, you know, she's just very fiery. She's got the wand here with the new growth, you know, she's always full of new ideas and new projects and she wants to breathe life into things and she's, you know, she 
instills your, you know, instills people with confidence. She reminds them to be confident and courageous and, you know, the lions that represent courage and strength and, you know, you've got the black cat here. She is very connected to magic, you know, she, it's her connection to magic and the occultism, you know, and her independence. She's extremely independent. She she does not like to be told what to do i can tell you that and she's not afraid to let you know <laughs> and i've definitely come into that um about myself she has a she has embraced her dark side okay she embraces her dark side and she doesn't care what you think about it she doesn't care whether you like it or not because she knows how freaking amazing she is, how sunny and warm and generous and loving and kind and fun and vibrant she is. She's just like, she is so amazing to be around. <clears throat> but she is also very intelligent. She's very aware. She knows what she wants and she goes after it. And nothing's going to stop her. So this is an awesome energy, you guys. And it's the wand, so... <clears throat> We've had a lot of that energy. I think the fire energy is just really prevalent, which is good because that's the spark. That's what, that's the passion. That's what is the energy that is driving this force, right? This is the, the driving force energy that's getting us to this new beginning that we're all headed towards. So <clears throat> I really love the queen of wands. I think it's amazing and it's a, it's just an awesome energy, you know, to embody, you know, we need this fiery feminine energy you know we the feminines are very creative and you know nurturing and all of this but there are times when we need to tap into our fire and let it burn baby burn baby burn and dance around that fire <laughs> dance around it and just you know she is Oh my gosh, let me see if there's anything else I can say about her, but you know, I think I pretty much covered it. I mean, she's just, she is the queen of fire. So you guys are embodying this energy right now, and I really encourage you to continue that. Um, just be really mindful, you know, <clears throat> spirit reminds you when you pull this card to, you know, definitely embody this fiery energy right now you've got it going on and you've got it for a reason and it's helping you step into your power it's helping you to you know become more authentic in who you are this journey is all about becoming authentic it's just all about becoming authentic so you know just be mindful of your temper you know and that's all about mastering your emotions and recognizing where it's actually coming from and you know owning it instead of projecting it but, you know, she has a very fiery temper. She can be stubborn. She can be, you know, emotional, have emotional outbursts and whatnot. So who cares, you know? It's, if you have them, it's okay. But recognize it and say, you know, I, I, can, I can probably temper that and just stand more in my fiery energy here and just let you know what's your problem with me, you know? Bring it, bring it to the table, you know? You got a problem with me? You know, you don't? Okay, cool. Then what do you want? <laughs> you know, do you want to be friends? Do you want to hang out? Do you want to have fun? Do you want to, you know, what is it? You know, just say what you need to say. Be, be the playful fire that you are. You know, let it serve you. Tune into the Queen of Wands and let your fire serve you in all the wonderful, passionate, fiery, fiery ways that it does. I'm getting tongue tied. <laughs> It stirs up all sorts of fiery things in my mind, so, oh boy. But it's good, right? It's good. I really needed the fun. I needed the, the, the positive side of this fire today because <clears throat> I'm definitely being tested, you guys. And it is very challenging. It's kind of testing my sanity, you know? Like, these videos are actually keeping me sane, so... I'm grateful you're here with me and, and I hope it's helping you as well. I mean, I think it's just we're living in some really insane times right now. And I'm just admit it. I just admit that I don't know everything and I'm not perfect. And if I have to be the loser, okay, you know, whatever. <laughs> I don't care anymore. 
So let's get on with it, okay? Let's just be fiery today. These cards are amazing. I just love them, like always. So <clears throat> I'm going to show them to you, and then I'll, I'll read them to you. I, I felt drawn to pull two cards from the Earth Magic deck, and I love it because we pulled Lotus Flower Unfoldment and then Milky Way Perspective. So, you know, obviously we are unfolding. I mean, we have talked about the Lotus before. I may have pulled this card before. I don't know but it's definitely happening. I did because I talked about the Lotus um, and the perspective, you know, our perspectives are shifting as we come more into our authentic selves, you know, and it's about aligning to our own perspective, our authentic perspective, who we really are, you know, not just taking on any perspective or look how dirty my nails are. I apologize, you guys. It's horrible. I've been out digging in the dirt. <laughs> um, it's all about your own perspective, your authentic perspective. Who are you? Who are you? You know, tune into who you are, who your perspective is. That's what I'm getting from this. Should we read it though? Should we read what the earth magic has to say about it? Because I think they want to speak to you. <clears throat> so let me open it up here. Of course I was, oh, I, I opened right to it. I wasn't even prepared. Don't you just love it? Okay, you guys. I'm going to read this to you. <clears throat> I wonder if you can see it better if I do this. I'll just tip it a little. Like this? Is that better? There we go. I'll keep it like this. <laughs> Sorry. The Milky Way is said to be one of billions of galaxies in the observable universe. It contains between 200 to 400 billion stars, so they say. The one most familiar to us being the Sun. The oldest star in our galaxy is 13.2 billion years old, said to be nearly as old as the universe itself, and the Earth is about 4.5 billion years old. How they know that, I mean, that's amazing, right? <clears throat> I'm not even going to read that part, okay, you guys, because I just, I don't resonate with it. It's not authentic. It doesn't feel authentic to me. It just feels like science and I don't let's let's not get into that here okay that's my perspective <laughs> let's see what earth magic has to say okay you have lost your perspective obviously that's why we're here tuning in spirit right I'm so sorry I see I don't know it's I don't know it's the fire it's the fire you guys so it's time to step back <sighs> breathe <laughs> And allow yourself to detach in order to gather information from your senses and regain your perspective about the situation. I was just saying today I need to do, I'm detaching from drama. That's it. I'm detaching, period. Detachment does not mean that you no longer care. It simply indicates that you are looking at things from a different point of view. It is an outlook that is not clouded by emotions, judgment, or attachment to outcome, but instead maintains a non-reactive awareness of these things. The witness, that internal aspect of yourself that simply observes everything in your life, offers his or her eyes here. Through these lenses of pure awareness, you can examine all aspects of your experiences, physical, emotional, and mental, without denying anything. By doing so, you will come to understand a greater perspective than is typically justified by the ego, which allows you to see what is before you with clear vision and an open mind. I love this, you guys. Pers you know, that's why I apologize if this is shaking around. Um, that is why it is so important to tune into yourself, to be by yourself, to go out and make it a daily practice to tune into your spirit. Like it should be the very first thing you do in the morning. Like as soon as you open your eyes and this is what I do and what I, this is the only thing that worked and I had to, you know, really train myself to do it. It takes a little effort if, if you're not, you know, if it's not your normal habit to do, but it's the only thing that helped me was the first thing in the morning was to get up and consciously tune into my own spirit, which means first thing in the morning, I would get up before everyone in the house, like at four or five o'clock in the morning, I did not care. However early I had to get up so that I could have time to myself to tune into my spirit so that the rest of my day, it was me. And it wasn't, I, my attention wasn't distracted and taken and I was giving my power away immediately. And that helped me so much. It helped me really just take ownership of my, 
my path, my life. And it was crazy at first. It was like so chaotic and hard, but it feels good to be empowered and to know that you can, it's just about, you know, really choosing your, how you want to be authentic to you, I guess. That's what I'm getting from it. So, you know, and then, you know, you're unfolding like this beautiful lotus flower. It was, you know, growing from the muck and the mud from the bottom of the, you know, the murky waters and you're pushing your way up. And you're unfolding and this, you know, the hand of God with the light shining down and oh my goodness. So I love this messages, you know, so just definitely it's not about any old perspective, you guys, it's about your own perspective. And I love this clear, <coughs> clear your energy fields, clear and shield your energy. Okay, so this is really important because as you are standing your ground, as you feel like everyone's against you and, you know, it happens when you start to become authentic, is that you need to, as you <clears throat> begin to, I mean, because we're feeling defensive, you know, like we get, we get defensive and we kind of get caught up in that defense. And then when we're in defense, we're, we get stuck back in our head. So... It's about knowing that we can clear our energy fields. We can consciously do that on a daily basis and shield us, you know, shield our energy so that we don't have to be exerting all this energy into protecting ourselves, you know, because that's when we start building the cage back around us. So shielding yourself, finding, you know, tuning into methods and things that resonate for you that protect you as you're going about your day. So you're not, you can just know that you know you've got your shields up let's let me just read it to you guys <clears throat> and see what Elmora Elmora wants to say to us I gotta like get schooled every day you guys <clears throat> I have to always have mentors that are like really honest with me and really to the point and like, cause I get distracted easily and I, <clears throat> I'm very fiery and it's like, I like to talk. It's like, I feel like I'm like mastering myself, just sharing all this with you guys, like on a whole new level. And you get to watch and witness like my mistakes and my goofiness. And I don't even care. Like it's so impact, like it's so liberating. Like it just feels so good. Cause I used to care so much what people thought about me and now I just I feel so transparent and open and I think I'm sharing that because it's all because of stuff like this I mean okay let's get into it because <clears throat> I am a sensitive person very very sensitive look at what the first sentence <laughs> the first sentence says this as a sensitive person you're, uh, you've absorbed some harsh and toxic energy from other people, which we have, especially with everything we've just been through, we've been surrounded by it. Okay, so <clears throat> this card asks you to stop and call on Elmora and Archangel Michael to clear yourself. They can also clear and elevate the energies in other people, your home or your office. After clearing yourself, ask them to shield you from further intrusions. This process, called shielding, needs to be conducted once or twice a day. You can also wear a crystal pendant to act as a buffer in harsh energy situations. Yeah, and you know, carrying crystals with you, wearing them. Um, <clears throat> ask Archangel Michael to cut cords of fearful attachments between you and other people or possessions. Stay clear of harsh or toxic substances, environments, and relationships. Honor your sensitivity. Keep your thoughts as positive as possible to keep your energy clear and clean. Eliminate clutter or use feng shui to clear the energy in your home or office. Um, I wanted to say something about that. I just, well, I'm being intuitively guided to say something. I'm, I, I'm just going to, I'm just going to say it. Um, when it comes to alcohol, like I know a lot of us really enjoy drinking alcohol and I definitely am one of those people. I, I'm very much enjoy the social aspect of drinking and having a good time and all of that. 
Um, and so I really fought it. Like I, I haven't drank alcohol in years, like a couple of years. And I mean, it's not like I didn't try, you know, I'm, I, like I said, I'm very fiery and stubborn and I would keep trying and my body straight up would reject it. After, you know, especially after my children, they like, I would have like one beer and be sick for like four days. It was horrible. So I didn't have a choice. Like it just, it chose me and my body was like, you know, but I was also at the time I was growing my own food. I was outside. I was w aware of all the toxins and chemicals in the food. So I was, I was like detoxing on whole other levels. And as I was doing that, my body was becoming more in tune with, and my, and my intuition was becoming more in tune because I could actually hear it because it was, my body was detoxing. And you know, alcohol is very interesting. It's, it's called spirits for a reason, you know. Um, I, I love plants. I love plant medicine. So I'm very into learning about how to use them and, you know, how to make medicine. And distilling, you know, oil distilling is an amazing thing to do with plants. You know, distilling your own oil. And um, you use alcohol to do it. You know, like to make a tincture, for instance, you, you use pure alcohol. Okay. And what it does is it sucks the essence of the plant into itself. It sucks the essence, the essence of the plant, the soul. And so what happens with alcohol is that you, the more you drink it, like especially when it becomes um, like a habit where you're drinking every day and people who cannot quit drinking, it, it is, it does become, you know, addictive and it's it's become, becomes beyond your control because what happens is you start inviting energies into your life that don't have your best interest in mind and they use you to manipulate situations they want to come about that don't have your best interest in mind so when you invite things in your life like that you're giving your power away to things that you you don't you're not in control you're just not in control of yourself and so it's 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 more than just you know drinking like I I don't think anyone should quit drinking or quit doing anything I don't think anyone should fight themselves I don't really see the point why don't you just do what feels good and if someone wants to do drugs or drink themselves to death, as hard as this is to hear, it's their choice. It's not your choice. It's not your life. It's not, you have no control over it. You don't walk in their shoes. You don't feel their pain. You don't know what they're going through. You don't understand the pain they're going through. The only reason that people do things is either to move away from pain or to move towards pleasure. There's no other reason. There is no other reason. If someone has an alcohol problem, it doesn't mean they're a bad person or they've done something wrong or they deserve to be punished. It means they need help. It means they're sick. So I just wanted to share that with you guys and I have, I guess because that's, you know, that's the compassion coming through. That's the compassion coming through from all the readings in the last couple days and the energies and returning to innocence. You know, the angel sent us this card again and it's all about being authentic. It's about recognizing that we are unconditional love. We are pure innocence, each and every one of us. Creation, life force, energy, love, God, spirit, ether, energy. It is the highest frequency vibration. 
it is pure love and it's what you are made of it is what i am made of and when we are acting out of integrity out of love it's because we're sick it's because there is a disease a separation um And instead of punishing people, we should, in my opinion, choose compassion and help them. Like, why don't we, instead of building prisons and punishing people, like, why don't we build, like, healing centers and actually help people? Why don't we plant gardens all over the place and, you know, grow medicine? I just wonder, like, what's the point of fighting all the time? Like, where is it going to get us? So I think this is just time to be authentic because we have a bigger mission here. We have a bigger purpose here. And it's time for us to begin that. And that's what's happening right now. Oh, my God, you guys. I'm, I totally went off, and I have no idea what I have said. But I hope that it's what you needed to hear. And I just realized, too, that to, that today's message is a 22. So that's a master number, you guys. 22 is, <clears throat> it's like, it's the expansion from the number 11. 11, 11, you know, is the, you guys can look it up. But 22 is like, I believe it's like like a builder number. It's like, it's like for the material plane it's like 11 11 is like you know spirit um connection and 22 is i believe it's it is you know a builder number on the material plane so it, i love it because it's you know we're building this this is like we're building the solid foundation and this is like divine this is like divine building you know this is a sign it's a sign um anyways you guys look it up i don't know it's not coming to me i just i hope you enjoyed this reading please let me know <laughs> if it resonated with you i actually when i was just sharing that with you guys i got so many downloads of things i need to share and maybe i'll do that separately I'll start sharing some things with you guys, you know, separately from these readings so that they don't like go together unless you like it that way. I have no idea what I'm doing. I just know that these messages are coming out one way or the other and I'm super grateful to share them with you. And I truly, I truly know that, that this is how spirit works. So I'm grateful that you're here. I'm grateful that I was able to muster up my Queen of Wands energy today because I am I was so fiery and so upset like I was like kind of pissed off like I didn't even want to get on here I actually had to you know it was great because spirit actually gave me this opportunity of free time here in the space that I don't normally have so I was able to do a little meditation do a little grounding light some candles chill the F out girlfriend <laughs> and you know understand where my anger was coming from you know because my anger is justified it is justified and when the queen of wands is angry her anger is justified there's a reason why you're angry i don't get angry for no reason that's why i say you know if if someone has a problem with me bring it to me bring it on so bring it on tell them to bring it on you're gonna you're building this foundation whether they like it or not and I salute you I respect you I honor you I support you I have mad respect mad love for you guys and I'm sending extra magic your way the Queen of Wands she's very magical so you guys are all magical too right now you got the magic you've been tuning into that magic and you're working it you're working your magic <laughs> returning to innocence your authentic self baby Okay. I love you guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe, like, comment, share, follow along. And until next time, I'll see you.
see you tomorrow. Peace out. Love ya. Peace.